once a week and then I use the tool to generate all the pieces to go to every single platform hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about being omnipresent repurposing content on all the platforms how do you do that in the most efficient way so we're going to talk about how you can repurpose content like videos like what I'm recording right now on all platforms in the most efficient way okay first this though so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So how do you repurpose video? I mean you could just share it, post it, copy it, post the same thing everywhere right? You could do that but that wouldn't be the most efficient way to do it and so obviously that is not efficient right? I mean it can be easy but it's actually not going to give you the kinds of results you got to kind of think about what results you're trying to get before we get into that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis416.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen and I will be sharing um, uh, and doing a blog post as well to kind of get into this exact topic all right so let's get right to it and let's go ahead and share my screen and uh, let's go there we go all right so first if you're looking at content online you know that each platform wants you to share a specific piece of content for that platform right so before we go into that let's kind of show you a little bit about what I do oops let's zoom, zoom in on this it looks like my computer oh <laughs> my computer is giving us giving me some weird slowness here this is not normal it says it's very high I'm actually looking at something here uh, just a second just a second oh my wow 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 all right anyway so one of the things that I do is I share a video on every platform like the video that you're watching right now or maybe you're listening to the audio that I share on all the platforms now how do I do that so that it looks like or at least the platforms like that I'm sharing it plus how do I do it so that it doesn't take me a crazy amount of time to put it all together right so first this is kind of what I do right you've already listened to this or the video or past this point in the video in the audio where I talk about the URL for those listening to the audio I have to make sure that every time I record the video I always mention the URL inside the vi the uh, the video because I will be taking the audio out of it to share to um, SoundCloud share to um, iTunes to share to Stitcher different uh, even uh, Alexis Alexa right Alexa skills so I do that and I take uh, the video and I take the audio out and then I share that right obviously uh, people will tell you that you're better to create a blog um sorry a podcast for audio and you're and that's true right but I mean it, if you don't have the time to create all these exact things these perfect things for those specific platforms you can do it still in a way that is relatively efficient and relatively okay by the platforms sure you want to be perfect you want to be better you want to be so that's not this is not for you so this is not what you're trying to accomplish if you are if you're like me and you don't have a lot of time and you just want to be as efficient as you can then this is for you if not it's not for you you don't have to listen to what I'm talking about obviously right so but this is what I do all right so mention the url that you're to those for those listening to the audio make sure to talk about the audio in the beginning because I sh I take the video I take the video and I strip out the beginning of it to share to uh, Alexa right so if I talk about the audio after the five minute mark because that's what I chose to split it at five minutes you can choose whatever you want obviously but I chose to split at the five minute mark for Alexa skills 
if I talk about the uh, the audio or the sorry the URL and the video inside the audio after that well nobody in the audio is going to hear it right at least not the ones that are listening to the short version right so you got to make sure you talk about that in the beginning uh the other thing is think of what where's my mouse where's my mouse there it is think of what to use as a gif or gif or video extraction during recording as I do the recording I know that I'm going to need a little bit of the video to put in the beginning of the video because it's a pre the introduction I guess to the the full length video I add this little snippet from within the within my recording so I kind of have to keep that in mind because I need that for my uh, recording okay so now the other thing is I use a tool to create all the assets obviously you can do it all yourself you can record and then you can use a trimming tool to trim the video you can use another tool to extract the audio you can use another tool to take the images out you can create your own image inside of canva you can do everything yourself but for me that's way too time consuming and that's way too long so that's why I have a tool that does it all for me and I'm going to show you that in a minute it's a tool I created but obviously it's something I use because I need it hope maybe others need it uh share the right asset to each platform what that means is you know you're going to not going to share an audio to Instagram you're going to share a, an image you could share a video well actually I do I share a video to Instagram I share a image to Instagram I share a video to Facebook I share a video to LinkedIn I share uh, uh what else do I share I share an audio to SoundCloud which ends up going to iTunes I share also a shorter audio to Alexa skills well not really I share it through a course a clicky course um course but it's just a series of audios that Alexa uses and so yeah I use different platforms different content for different things and that's kind of how I do it share the right asset to each platform right and then ensure you have a link back to your primary post at the end of the shorter videos this is by adding a suffix to the end of the videos which is a suffix that I created ahead of time that lets me um add that to the end using the tool it does it automatically but you know if you were editing a video with your own uh manually with a tool to edit videos you would cut you know I don't know the first five minutes of the video and then at the end of it you would actually append some other video you would put them together right and then end up with a video right well I do that with a tool but you could do that and you need to do that you need to have something at the end of the video that lets people know how to how to see the whole video how to read your blog post whatever it is that you decide to choose as your primary location I definitely recommend a blog because that's where you can have a um you know um what's it called uh, not a not in but a a a oh what's the word the word whatever da, 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 the word for that is the the anyways the page that shows up whenever you go to the blog post it pops up or it prevents them from continuing before they give you their email so that becomes um how you get people on your email list because obviously that's that's the most efficient or the most universal way of communicating with people because if you just rely on Facebook or LinkedIn or Instagram or Twitter or TikTok or whatever to reach out to people you won't be able to reach out to them unless you know as long um, you won't be able to reach out to them if that platform decides to you know shut you down right uh, that can happen so you want to make sure you have an email list because that's the only thing you control that you own right all right so that's kind of the b basics of it let me show you how this um how the process works for me right so first let's look at the end result right over here I have uh let me show you the list here of uh, files I'm not really sure what's going on the computer is super slow like it makes no sense there's nothing running on it at least not you know nothing insane but uh maybe I can maybe I see what's going on there's actually haha I got a tool that's running let me pause and come back all right so I stopped something that was taking up a lot of my CPU hopefully this will be better all right so this is where the content gets created let's show you the folder I had the folder right here so whenever I create a video 
I actually generate all these pieces of content right so this is uh some videos some images so you can see these images like this is an image right here another image here another image here it doesn't look like the computer is much faster but uh hopefully it's not too bad um so basically what I do is I take the video and I generate all these pieces using a tool I don't have to do it myself it's just basically something that happens automatically using a tool all I got to do is I got to enter the main video that I'm wanting to get uh content out of it and then that tool will extract the pieces based on information I give it like for example I'll tell it where inside the video I want the thumbnail out or where I want the little section of uh, video I want like let me kind of show you how this works um how can I show you the best way would be to so yeah so last week I created this episode right how to use new 2022 snapchat features for all I forget what for all what <laughs> for all stories right so I did that last week now how do I do that I record the video like I'm recording the video right now so I record the video and then I go to the tool and I just say I want to create a new syndication um I give it a, a title right and then let's just do this one here that I'm actually doing now let's do this this is how to efficiently repurpose all platforms I'm just going to copy this I'm going to paste that right here and then I oh look at that that's not that word's not spelled right imagine I got a typo in my title all right anyways uh and then I put a URL here which is normally the URL of the actual uh post which because it's used in some of the text that's going to be used for each of the posts right so in the post I want the link to the to my blog post the, the final destination I want people to go to if they're listening to the short version I want them to go to this link so it could just be my my blog post or or the specific post for it which in my case I do the specific post but in this case in the, for the test here I'm just going to show the um, the video right okay so next then I upload a video so I just click on here I choose a file and then I go find the video for that file right so let's just uh, do that uh, da, 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 da. where is it so yeah so let's just like if I go here I'm going to take the full video the original video that I recorded which is this one so that video is the video I recorded using OBS using my computer that contains the basic of the video so I'm going to actually upload that I'm not going to do it right now but I'm going to show you what the different I'm going to upload obviously the video that I'm recording right now it's going to be uploaded here but after I've recorded it I'll just go to the one that is the one that is from last week and basically this is where I would have specified the video source I would have uploaded the video and then I end up with this video right here which which is right there the video that I actually recorded last week right uh it's like I said again my computer is slow I don't know why I tried to close a few things I'm sorry that's something that really frustrates me <laughs> with the computer slow because I'm a computer guy right and uh yeah anyways so I have the video here and down here is the actual YouTube video which is where it'll go and fetch the subtitles so let's not worry about that but once you have the video uploaded you tell it where in the video you want to grab the thumbnail from so I have it at 206 in this video right and I also have a 206 plus 5 right here for the little intro I want to grab out of the video to put at the beginning so that when anybody who's listening to the short version video uh it always starts with this like you know highlight of the video right and then after I've done that I go and I generate the assets this process normally this is empty right nothing's here when you start but what what it gets out is defined in the in the 
it's defined in the syndication engine this is a it's called a syndication engine video that's why it's called video syndication right so the syndication engine lets you choose what you want to extract you know like here I have a two minute trim a five minute trim of the audio a thumbnail a podcast thumbnail a gif I have subtitles I have an IGTV five minute video uh, I have a full plus intro a prefix video a highlight so all those things are defined in the engine so you do it once you just define it once you define it once and then the engine takes care of extracting all the pieces you need that way you can have whatever you want to uh for it, whatever platform you want afterwards so me what I do is I actually go and I take I like I said I upload the video once I just upload the video right then after that I tell it well I don't have to, well yeah so I upload the video number two is I tell it where in the video I want the extraction to be done like for the thumbnail and the gif and the highlight all those things I tell it that then number three I just tell it to generate those assets and this is kind of what it does let it go and to generate all these so if I look at this for example if I click on this thumbnail here this is the image that has the little play icon in the middle of it it's just a jpeg but this is what it generated for me right so or, or if I look at the, say the IGTV five minute five minute right here this is the video that's a five minute video whoops your stories right what is turn the sound off I, I don't know I don't think you can hear well maybe you could hear the sound so this is the five minute video that I use for Instagram as you can see it's an IGTV video so it's like well maybe you can't really see that well but this area here is the is on top of the video this area down here is the bottom with the with the uh subtitles and this is the original video in the middle here right and this is actually just basically a video generated from the other video but it lasts only the five minutes it's four minutes 50 seconds and at the end here it basically goes and it and it uh just shows a, a foot a footer a trailer I should say a trailer right at the end it just says if you'd like to hear this has been an episode of you know whatever right so that's the end of it and same thing with the regular five minute I have a this here one here the trim two minute the trim five minute if I look at this this is a you know a normal size normal size video here and it starts off with the the highlight this is the highlight the beginning that I decided to cut out then I have this intro thing that I have that I created you you can create your own intro obviously it has to be your intro and then it adds that to all my videos it, it adds the highlight at the beginning then this intro and then the video starts that's the video or the original video starts like that just like I recorded if I go to the end here it's the same thing I end up having this part at the end that tells people to go to this to this link um and also in the beginning of the vid video I also say CIS you know whatever the post is right so that's kind of how that's kind of how I do it how to be efficient by you know not spending too much time creating all these separate assets they're all done for you all these videos all this video thumbnail right this video thumbnail that I can use for uh for YouTube uploads this podcast thumbnail that I can actually use for my SoundCloud upload or or um iTunes right uh, then I have this gif that I can use to use it's really up to you but I use it in some emails I send out it's a looks like a video right it's just a tiny little bit it's part of the video and then I have like I said this is the highlight this is the high the highlight is the video that is cut out of the actual video the part of the video I chose and how did I choose that highlight right if you go if I go back to the video extract here you can see that I have this as the highlight part video for highlight start position plus length right so this this tells the syndication engine to extract a five second this is five that's five seconds in the video 
at position two minute oh six I can change this and well obviously I do every single video it's a different position right and if you wanted you could have a different position for your thumbnail for your uh, for your video thumb for your you know these different things right? you could have different positions that's really up to you as to how you use the tool but basically it lets you do that by just specifying where to get the uh, information from if I go back to generated assets here what else do I have the highlight is here the prefix video is here which is the highlight plus the intro but how does it how does it know what intro to use right well like I said that's all defined when you first set up your syndication um series and in the syndication engine there's a there's episodes and series you can have as many series as you want well maybe not there's limits but this is series I like you see test test my show bitcloud various random videos test webinar success with Aaron so different series think of a series like a tv show that has episodes every week so you would have a series which is your tv show in my case course income secrets and inside that inside that series you would have episodes see how I have episode 416 415 414 12 there's 168 more if I just click on that it kind of lets me see the whole list I don't know if it shows the whole list or not uh, but it shows more obviously uh, it might show the whole list I haven't clicked that in a long time so yeah I guess it does it shows the whole list all the way down to uh 100 starting at 150 231 yeah so the, the obviously the numbers near the beginning are, aren't exactly perfect but yeah so this is basically the the way the series works so every single episode here right is an episode that was recorded that week and then basically the pieces were extracted from it using the tool it's all on automatic all you got to do is tell it how which is here if I click on edit series I can see that I have all these different pieces to it so I have the logo drop intro I have the energy boost these are different intros I had these are all videos these are input files then over here I have extractions which that's why there's a download upload right see these are inputs and outputs anyways obviously I can't I'm not going to go through the whole how this works if you're interested in this you definitely need to um, look at the training for this but it lets you it lets you create inputs video audio image subtitles and create outputs text video audio image or subtitles so the inputs is what you use if you want to have like say um well you know if you want to have a intro video that you add to every single episode like I have or an or a trailer that you add to the end of every single video that you cut right I have that in here like if I look at this where's the where do I have those are they up here yeah the trim outro see this here is the actual outro at the end of my videos that I add to every single video so I can play this kind of see what it is but that's the end of the video it'll start here in a second I think like I said my computer is giving me a hard time right now just for the fun of it uh, but this would be the outro of the video so trim outro I'll just cancel it so don't worry about it okay and uh, the header file for example IGTV header file the podcast background use the podcast background right so whenever I create a podcast video I have this background file which has course income secrets at the top in the middle of it I'm going to be pasting the actual screenshot from the video so that it you know has that at the bottom whoops like this right um and then it takes and then I have these this is full plus intro right so this is an output see how it has a down arrow there so this says to concatenate two videos together 
by the way let's just create a new video if I just click on this button here it'll let me create a new which you can kind of see what kind of videos you can create uh, anyways I, I said I wouldn't go through that let's, let's not worry about it let's not go through that because it is kind of confusing kind of complicated when you first set it up it might be a little complicated but this the cool thing about it is that once you've done it you don't have to worry about it anymore I I have set this up a long time ago and even me looking at it now is like I'm not you know I don't really remember all the details I, obviously if I go through it again it'll come back to me and if I go through the training uh by the way there is some training if I go to uh da, da, da. let's go see the actual there's a training on how to use the syndication engine uh let's see if I can find it but I'll let it load while we're talking here what else can I say about this um so by the way the syndication engine is free you can actually set it up for free there's a limit to how much how much um how many episodes you can create right but that's basically uh basically that okay syndication fastest syndication process I believe is it it's been so long again since I've been there uh YouTube LinkedIn yeah I kind of talk about the process here you can find that on Click eCourse and then go find the fastest syndication process course and also if I go back let's open that yeah I look I know I look a little lost it's because this is something I haven't done in a long time I've been using it every single week but setting it up is something I did once a long time ago so it's uh relatively new to me and I probably should create a brand new training on how to use this because let me see can I go through here that's the syndication process uh -huh. I'm just trying to see if I can find the so this is content creation uh, is that it no oh, that's it creating your first course I guess not Hmm. no I guess I don't have a specific training for that I should put it together right I should actually create a training that on how to use a syndication engine exactly how to use it versus just you know the process of using omnipresence right like this this kind of talks about that how I use it which is still pretty good you still want to do that right still need that um but this kind of talks about the different uh things that you need to do inside the engine right or what kinds of things you can create or how do you go on YouTube on LinkedIn LinkedIn article LinkedIn groups Twitter Facebook Facebook this is basically what I do every week I do that I go through all these things after I've created the asset from the tool I just share it to all these different platforms that's kind of how you can do it too and you have only one recording to do only one recording to do the rest is all done for you that's the part that's so cool I actually do this like this I create my I create my video once a week and then I use the tool to generate all the pieces to go to every single platform that's the best most efficient way is where you don't have to do it you let a tool do it for you right and that's kind of what the, this is all about uh so hopefully you got some value I know I've been kind of all over the place I'm kind of messed up this week because of uh because well because it's summer and it's not the same and because I'm planning on something this weekend that's coming up is going to be amazing but uh hopefully this was still valuable and if you have any questions always always feel free to reach out find me on any of the platforms and message me or send me an email until next time we'll see you in the next video this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom some of your friends need to hear this message so don't forget to share for more content like this go to courseincomesecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon until next time